Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Hemlata and in this video I will be showing you how to fit a best linear regression model uh, and with the complete interpretation. So I will not tell you anything new, you already know but most of you do this mistake, right? So what is that mistake? I will be explaining you right now. Okay, so for this I will be taking very well known data set that is empty cars. Uh, it is inbuilt data in R. Um, and I'll be fitting a simple linear regression model for the sake of simplicity. I'll be taking only two variables. Okay So what all variables I'll be taking? Uh, for this let us see what all variables are there in the data set and uh, uh, Which all variables we will be taking so mpg mpg of the cars uh, mileage miles per gallon for the car and many more variables are there but for the Time being, I'll be taking only weight, weight of the car. It is given in LBs pounds, okay, thousand pounds, uh, weight of the car in thousands. Okay, so uh, what is my first step for fitting a model, regression model? We should see what is the functional relationship between them, okay? So for that, I, I'll be using the plot function and uh, for, from this, uh, we can plot the a scatter diagram between them okay so if you zoom this plot um, what do we see here so most of you will say there is a negative linear relationship right okay so for the time being let us take this as a linear relationship negative linear relationship so what we will do we will fit a simple linear regression uh, by assuming there is a linear relationship right so we fit our model and uh, we will see what all values we have got so here we have got beta naught and this is my beta 1 and this minus sign indicates there is a negative linear relationship, right? As uh, weight increases, um, the MPG will decrease, okay? And this is significant also. The other thing to check the model adequacy is uh, we will see the R square or adjusted R square, right? And here it is 0.7528. That means 75% of the variation in Y is explained by the regressor okay now uh, do you think there there is still chance to improve the model uh, if you think and what is the method if you know you can write in the comment box okay but if you don't know um, please don't skip the video okay i'll be explaining what is the uh, how we can improve the model okay so now to understand the model uh, what is the proper uh, functional relationship uh, we will see the diagram again so here some of you will think it's a linear relationship but if you observe this minutely there is not a linear relationship it's a kind of non-linear and having kind of parabolic or the quadratic kind of relationship right so if you fit a quadratic uh, uh, non-linear regression model that would pro that will provide a better results okay so we will try that also so for the quadratic we need uh, the square term also so there is only one variable weight so we have a squared weight into weights means weights is square and then we are fitting a second model for the same data set uh, quadratic model okay so we are taking two variables now one is weight other one is weight square okay so uh, fit this model okay and then we'll see whether we have improved the model or not. So if you see the coefficients for the second model, this is beta naught, this is beta one, and this is beta two, okay? And if you see the value of R square and adjusted R square, it has increased 0 0.8066. Earlier it was 0 0.74, okay? It has increased approximately five or six units, six units, okay? So it's a huge increment okay that means the second model is far better than the previous model to explain uh, the functional relationship between x and y and to estimate the average miles miles of car with the help of weight okay now okay now we have fit a model that is having the quadratic relationship now i think i hope uh, you would have got clear how we have improved the model the next thing is the interpretation of the results okay the interpretation is very important and most of you don't know how to interpret the quadratic relationship so for this uh, i will take you to the um, uh, theoretical aspect okay theoretical concept 
Okay, so for this, uh, here I have written the model one that is uh, linear relationship y is equal to beta naught plus beta one x where y is my mpg and x is my weight. Okay, now uh, why we do? We want to know what is the the average change in y for per unit change in x. So for the, the first model, linear model, they it, we'll say beta one is the uh, the change in y for per unit change in x, right? But if it is a quadratic type, then this is your model y is equal to beta naught plus beta one x plus beta two x square where again y is your mpc and x is your weight so if you want to know the average change uh, for per unit change in x you'll have to take the derivative again and derivative of this is beta 1 plus beta 2 into into uh, 2 into x right the differentiation of x square is 2x so if you observe this this x is there that means what as you change the x this uh, uh, change will also change right that means this uh, change is not constant for per unit change in x right it is depending on x so if it is depending we cannot interpret it as we were doing it for a simple linear regression uh, for the first model right we have to uh, interpret it for specific values of uh, x okay now we will write this uh, in terms of uh, our, our data okay so this these are the results i have written from the results uh, what we got from r okay so this is my beta naught this is my beta one and weight and this is the r square we got for the first model okay we we already know this model is uh, not good as compared to the second one okay so what is my second this is my model one model one okay this is model two model two and here it's a quadratic relationship and these are the coefficients we have got 49 beta this is the value of beta naught beta one and beta two okay now uh, if you find out the dy by dx what will you get from the first uh, from the second model it is uh, beta 1 from the here you can see it is beta 1 plus beta 2 into 2 into x right so we will write dy over dx is equal to or you can write it uh, d mpg over d uh, weight is minus 13.38 plus 1.1711 into uh, 2 into weight okay means what this is depending on the per unit change is depending on weight okay so if the car's weight let us assume let uh, the weight of the car is 3000 pounds okay 3003 3. data was in thousands so we'll take three okay that means three thousands okay so we can interpret it um, you put here weight is equal to three so what will you get weight is equal to three means minus 13.38 plus 1.1711 into two into three okay weight is equal to three so if you solve this you will be getting minus um, uh, 6.36 okay so this how will you interpret this value it is for the cars those who are having weight as 3 3000 pounds okay um, that means what for the cars their weight is already uh, 3000 pounds the mpg the miles per gallon will decrease because it is a negative sign okay will decrease by 6.36 if there is one unit increase in the weight of the car okay this is how you can interpret so this we are doing for those cars those whose weight is 
three thousand pound pounds. Okay. Uh, similarly, you can change the weight of the cars and you can give the the results. You can try it for uh, um, the, if the car's weight is two thousand pounds. And then what will be the the unit change in the mile miles per gallon of the that particular um, cars of uh, of or you can say uh, that particular category of the cars. Okay. So this is how you can interpret the results. So this is quite different from the the simple linear regression model, and uh, it's very important because uh, it just looks uh, very simple, but people uh, don't know how to interpret the this uh, quadratic relationship and uh, how to make a best model to explain uh, the relationship between the variables and to predict the the response variable with the help of regressors. Okay. So I hope you would have got the clarity in fitting the best linear regression model. Uh, so for this, we have to understand the functional relationship first very minutely, very clearly. Then only we can make a best model. Otherwise, the, the residuals will be larger or the model will not be giving you the accurate results. I hope you would, be, you would have got some clarity in fitting a best model if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel thank you